Hello there. Today's video is the first of five videos that will be focusing on insects. And if you don't know, insects have six legs. And today's six-legged insect is going to be the four-spotted chaser. A four-spotted chaser is a dragonfly and um, really, really beautiful. Now, it's not to be mistaken for a damselfly. There are some differences. So a dragonfly's eyes tend to be quite close to each other on the head, whereas a damselfly's eyes tend to be uh, more separate. Dragonflies are a bit bigger and a bit broader, he more heavier looking, and damselflies are much more slight, more pencil-like and more delicate looking. And damselflies you tend to find near water bodies, sort of near ponds and lakes, and they don't really travel too much further away from that. Whereas dragonflies will, you do find them in those areas, but dragonflies will, will go a little bit further afield to go hunting. So um, this dragonfly that I took a photograph of, I spotted a little bit away from a slow moving um, water course resting on some grasses. So today's insect, six legged insect, is a dragonfly. And these are the things you'll need to draw along. Okay, so we're going to start with our dragonfly. We're going to start with the dragonfly's head, which is sort of this sort of shape, which is a big N, N shape. And then if we just do a curve underneath like that. And then dragonflies, our dragonfly is going to be clinging onto a, a plant. So, Dragonflies have really big eyes that are made up of lots of lenses, which means that they've got really, really good eyesight. And just do an extra bit just there. Okay, so really, really big eyes like that. And then we're going to draw a tall M, N, sorry, like this, to about here. Well, that's a very tall N. And then we'll just put a little curve at the bottom like that. And that's the thorax of our dragonfly. And then we're going to draw the abdomen and with four spotted chasers like this, the abdomen is quite broad, so it's quite wide. And then it comes down like Now this isn't scientifically accurate. About halfway down our body here, we're just going to do an oval shape like this. Okay, roughly like that. And then at the top part of it, we're going to draw a line that's pointing towards say two o'clock. So if you imagine the face of a clock face, you've got numbers all, all the way around the clock face from 12 to 6 to back to 12. So this line here is pointing towards 2 o'clock. And then we're going to put in two lines here which are pointing towards 3 o'clock. And then we're going to put a line here which is pointing towards 5 o'clock. Okay? Now the wings of a dragonfly are slightly shorter than the length of the dragonfly, but not much. So they do have quite long wings. 
and they've got a bit of shape to them but for, the pur for, for our purpose here we're um, we're um, not going to make them too shapely um, so don't worry too much okay so we'll just do a curve that slightly goes up the way curve like that um, and then from here another curve of the same distance and then when you get to the end just curve that round like that and then we'll bring that down and around like that. Now remember I said it's not scientifically accurate. And then I'm going to take this second line here, well, third line, so that's the first one, that's your three o'clock and this is your second three o'clock. We'll take a line and follow the line of our top wing. Now with dragonflies, the hind wing, so the wing at the back, is slightly shorter than the wing at the front. And then we'll bring that back around like that. And in like that. Okay. And then we're going to do the, the same on the other side. So we're going to put in our, our lines to keep us right. So this one here is going to point towards 10 o'clock. And this one here, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And this one, what do you think this one would be? I think that would be 7 o'clock. And then because the wings need to be about the same, because they, they are the same on a dragonfly, we're going to need a bit of a guide to keep us right. So use your finger and mark on the page, put your finger on the page where you think roughly your top wing should come to, to make it roughly the same length as the wing over here, okay? And then we're just going to draw the same sort of shape. So up like this and then up again to over here. I think that might be a bit a bit longer, but um, not worry. And if it is a bit longer, you can just come back the way and take, curve it round like that, and then take it down like this, so a big swoopy line, and then back towards the body like that. Well, that's not too bad. And then this line here follows the line of the top wing. And remember I said that the hind wings are slightly shorter, so we'll stop about there. And then we'll curve it round, um, we'll curve it round like this, and then back towards the body, and then up like that. Okay, that's not too bad. And then we'll just, whilst we're in the middle of the body here, we'll just put in the the segments which are lines like this. And then a main feature of a four spotted chaser is its four spots that it has on its wings. And then it has them on the other wings as well. One about there, one about there. So now we're going to bring in some colour and the body of a four spotted chaser is sort of an orangey, orangey, goldy, browny sort of colour. So we're going to take our orange crayon and we're going to colour it in and this bit makes it look a little bit like a wasp but 
it's not a wasp. It's a beautiful dragonfly. Okay, and they have, they have a bit of yellow on their wings actually, like that. And a bit like that as well. A bit there, and then a bit on this wing. Very beautiful. And then the other thing they have on their wings is a dark brown patch, just just um, up in the, the corner. Like that. It's like a triangle, almost at the corner like that. And then once we've got the brown, we're just going to gently go over the top of our orange, which is going to give the, the effect of golden, golden colour. And a bit of the top here. Like and then down the side is quite brown and then down the bottom here is very brown. And then we'll use our brown crayon colour in the middle bit. And if you do the orange underneath and then very gently do um, some brown on top, you get this really nice effect, I think. And a little bit of brown down the other side of the dragonfly as well. Like that. And our dragonfly has a brown head. Now we're going to do the wings, and the wings are really, really beautiful. They almost look like um, they almost look like lace, uh, and it looks like they've got tiny little squares all the way along their wings. But we're not going to draw tiny little squares. We're going to um, make our squares by drawing lines. So we're going to take our pencil and just take a line from the body out along to the edge like this and try and keep the lines as close to each other as possible and if you find that you've got too much of a gap, then you can just go back over it. Okay. Like that. And then we're going to go in the opposite direction with our lines and create little squares by doing this. Trying to really lightly so I'm going to carry this on you can pause the video here and um, carry on with the other three wings and then start the video again when you're ready
One last thing, our dragonfly is on some, on a plant. The legs underneath gripping on to the plant, so we'll do a green, green stem like this and maybe a lighter green over the top. There you have it, a four spotted chaser. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.